Sarah. I'm a senior and I'm from Westside. Westside! And this is called Let Go of Me. Let go of me. Take your sticky fingers from the ring of my wrist melting pink cotton candy into the skin of a toddler. And while you're at it, go ahead and wipe it clean. Because I'm getting really sick of feeling this residue covering me from head to toe. This sugar that tastes so sweet on my tongue but that is so lethal over time. The sugar no one seems to be able to scrub away. Get the flat of your palm away from the home of my cheek because it sure feels like a slap in the face when Ever you drag me back into your dusty room by an invisible arm and push me into cardboard boxes of shame filled with your ratty t-shirts with old textbooks dotted with half-hearted drawings of 1973 Mustangs with suspicious pipes of glass with pens that won't work even when I circle them hard over the backs of your knuckles gripping me much too tightly let go of me the ghosts of your hands have been clutching to mine for a year and a half and I miss the feeling of air on my skin, of ankles that aren't burdened with silky chains woven from brittle eyelashes and epitaphs written by a stranger. Let go of me, let go of me. I hate the feeling of your fingers moving mine across the space of a paper in every composition class because for once, I just want to write about my favorite pet, the best day ever, what I want to be when I grow up, anything other than the day my brother died. And I know, I know, this is more a letter to myself than to you, than to the brown eyes peering over my shoulder in the mirror, than to the music box of decaying marrow lying further down in the ground than I am tall. But these words are for those eyes only. No, this is a letter to you. Because though it's my own hands tugging one of your stupid sweatshirts over my head for the hundredth time, it's your fingertips tracing over the sticky skin of that toddler over the vulnerable flat of that cheek weaving together to tell me, yes, Sarah, wear my old clothes, dig through the archives of my self-assigned confinement. Think of the day you told me you hated me and think of how much you hate yourself. It's the least you can do to remember me. And yes, you're right, it was. After watching as you tossed too many pills down the wrong drain and painted the bathroom floor with the wrong colors, it was the least I could do to want to follow. It was the least I could do to remember you. But as your grip grows tighter, all I can hear from your grave is that it wasn't fair of you to throw your life away and choose to take mine with you. For God's sake, let go of me. Let go. So I can finally let go of you.